So let me show you why we like to use two's complement. Um, it basically makes subtracting numbers very nice. So if I I have here my I, a three bit number, okay, we're going to go with three bit zero 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 one zero one zero. You see the counting up pattern in binary. Here's the unsigned integer value zero one two three four five six seven. And then here's the signed integer value then two's complement. So it goes zero one two three. No surprises. That's the same as the the uh, unsigned version. But the negatives, notice the negatives take a little bit. The negative 4 matches with the 4, but then we count down. 3, 2, 1. So we have a nice complete range here of integer numbers that, from negative 4 all the way up to negative 3. So negative 4, then we come back over here up to negative 3. We still have that range. Um, and we still have 8 values. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's nice. Um, but then we can also do some addition here, or subtraction. Subtraction is more interesting because adding positive values will always be the same as we do with regular binary. The subtraction is where things get interesting. So let's take uh, let's take two values and uh, try subtracting them. So um, let's take a one and we'll subtract, or we'll add a negative two. Adding a negative two is the same as subtracting two. So I'm going to take a one and add negative 2. So let me get my pencil tool here. Okay, 1 is 0, 0, 1, so 0, 0, 1, and negative 2 is 1, 1, 0, so 1, 1, 0. Now before I do the addition, look what we have here. I can tell just by kind of glancing at the bits here that I have a non-negative number, positive number, okay, and I have a negative number. I'm adding a positive and a negative number together. All I need to do is look at the first two bits for that. All right. So 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. Well, 2 plus uh, negative 1 should be negative 1. So these three bits, if I look in my chart here, here's the three bits, and that aligns here with negative 1. Okay? Negative 1. So that, that, that kind of worked. Let's do a Let's do another one. Let me uh, erase this here. La, 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 la. Uh, do you like the music while I'm erasing? Okay. Uh, let's try two. No, no let's, well, I'm done with two. Let's do three plus a negative four. That should give us. That should give us a uh, negative one. Okay. So three is zero zero one. Zero zero. Oh, whoops! Not zero zero one. It's. It is zero one one. Yeah. Sorry, I'll have to confuse you. So zero, one, one. Okay, and then negative four is one zero zero. So one zero zero. <laughs> All right. Uh, again, I can tell I'm doing a positive number with a negative number. So one plus zero is one. One plus zero is one. Zero plus one is one. Well, again, that's the same result we had last time. Is negative one. So three plus negative four is negative one. Okay. Very interesting. Okay, let's do uh, let's do one plus negative three. All right, that should end up at negative two. Let's try it. So one is zero zero one, and then plus a negative one plus negative three. Is, okay, so one zero one zero one. Okay, that's one plus negative three. I'll just write that out there. One plus one is Zero, carry the one. One plus zero plus zero is one. Zero plus one is one. All right, I like adding binary. It's nice and easy. Well, look at that value. One, one, zero. One, one, zero is the same as our negative two. Okay? So, so one of the reasons we like two's complement is because we, we, we can add the, the numbers together, and regardless of whether the number is negative or positive, we get the correct value out at the end. Okay, that's kind of cool. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you some special cases. And then the video after that, I'm going to show you how that magic works, why that magic works. Okay, because it's just kind of weird that, oh, we, say, we flip all the bits, we add one, and then out pops the, the uh, proper number. I mean, it's just Tinkerbell magic. Kaboom! No, that's, I, I, we need to understand why that works, and so I'll show you that to you in the next video.